Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is a great day, a wonderful day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Today we are going to be making turkey wing barbecue. So I'm going to show you the ingredients that I'll be using to season my turkey and how I do my sauce. So before I go any further, let's give God thanks and praise. And please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you like the contents there in, in my video. So we're going to use, first this is a turkey wing. That's a turkey wing here. This is a big turkey wing. I'll put it on here so you can see. That's a big turkey wing right there. See? That's a big boy right there. Okay, so for our seasoning, we're going to need, um, we're going to use chicken poultry rub. Larry seasoning salt. Some basil. Some oregano salt, um, leaves. Sorry. Some parsley flakes. Meat is a meat tenderizer. Seasoning salt. Portion rub. Then we have Italian seasoning and some good old old bay but you could use whatever seasoning that you like you know so these are just some of the seasonings that I like to use and I'm going I have some onion already cut already and a lime so I'm gonna let's let us go ahead and season the turkey wing. So I'm just going to get this line right here. And I'm just gonna rub it all over. I'd already washed the um the turkey wing already. So now I'm just rubbing it all over over it. See says it doesn't have excess water. And we are going to do our turkey wing in the slow cooker. Okay. Maybe the other one here. Just rub it all over it to give it a little flavor. And then, you know, sometimes you could, you know, even pick it. So, we're going to cut off. I like to cut off the excess right here, so. Get that off, we don't need that. Okay, so then we're gonna cut it down here in the joint. Try to find that joint. There we go. See, we could cut this piece here off too. Let's see, we find the joint in here. I think I'm in the joint because it should have broken already. But here we go. We got it. And the other one. Cut off the excess. Right here. I like to use this knife here because it has the, the good in it almost like the bread knife. A good cut right there. We got right into the joint of that one right there. Oops. There we go.
So we have everything here, it's already cut up. So now we're gonna use sprinkle the lively salt. See what I don't have any original, like no um, salt because a lot of this seasoning has salt in it already. So I just sprinkle just a little. And we have a little basil. You know, when I cook, I really don't use um, measurements. So you just have to kind of judge it. So I say it will be about maybe an um, maybe about a teaspoon and a half of each seasoning, if that much. Some people when they're working in the kitchen they like to use gloves but I do too but not all of the time because sometimes I just want all of it you know it all depends put it this way it is really and truly all depends okay and I forget to show you the minced garlic but we're going to put some, put in some minced garlic in here Okay, so now we're going to cut up some onion. So when all this is done, I'm just gonna set it up in the slow cooker for about four to five hours. And you know, you could cut these no particular way to cut your onions. You could just cut them any way you wish. Give it a good massage. So this is the turkey wings in the slow cooker, ready to go. So I set it for on high in the slow cooker and it will slow cook for four hours. Okay, that's it there. Okay, so now we are going to get the barbecue sauce going. 
Okay, so this is the sauce that I like to use right here. Sweet barbecue rays. Sweet and spicy. I like to use that. So we're gonna use the barbecue sauce. We're gonna use some sweet radish. We're gonna use some ketchup. Hings, ketchup. We're gonna have a little Heineken. A little ginger, small piece of ginger. So we're gonna, that's what I need so far, yes. So I already have one of this already. Um, open so let's go ahead and finish this off so you're going to need a, a pan this is like a eight maybe you don't need such a big pan but i thought this would be a good time right now let's get all of it out so it still have some more inside there so i'll just turn it upside down and leave it Let's open the, the new one. So, I don't need too much sauce because as you can see, we only have two wings, even though it's a big one. <laughs> they are huge. A little ketchup. I could put a little um, mustard in here too. But I didn't bring it out so much of a long walk to get to the refrigerator. Let's see. This one has a little bit open. And as I said, you could use whatever, whatever flavor that you like. You could put inside there. Put a little bit of garlic in here. Mm -hmm. A little bit. A little teaspoon of garlic. I need to get the sugar. This is a quarter, quarter cup. Maybe a little bit more sugar. I like it sweet. Then you're gonna get um, some the ginger. You're just gonna just do a little bit of grating. Just a little bit, just to, you know, give it a little zing. Then you add a little Heineken or whatever beer that you like, but I saw my brother in the once with this and he add some of this inside there. So not too much. So we, we did just a little bit. Cause this is what's left from the bottle. So we're just gonna mix it all around. And then we're gonna put it on the stove for about a half an hour on low. And then we're gonna transport it to the turkey wing. Okay, so we're all blended up inside here. So this is what we look like, can you see? I don't think so. But anyhow, I'll find it and show it to you. So this is how good it looks right here. And we are going to put it on the stove for about a half an hour on medium low. Okay guys, so this is the turkey. It has been on the stove 
for about three hours. It's a good thing I came and checked it because I had it on medium instead of high. So this is what I'm going to do now. If you see inside, it has a lot of, it springs it on its own water. So I don't need the water in there. So I am going to drain it and then I'll be back to show you how I put the sauce on it. And I'm going to let it cook for another three hours because it was supposed to be cooking on high, but it did not. So, okay. So I have already drained it. As you can see, there's no water or hardly any water. So now this is the barbecue sauce right here. I boiled it to make it um, stew down for about, I had said uh, um, half an hour, um, 45 minutes, but I did it for half an hour. So now I'm just gonna take this and pour it inside here. And I'm just gonna let it do it, does, does its thing. So let's do it right here. Let's pour it all over. It will stay in here for as I said I'll do it for another maybe two three hours and I'll just let it cook and when I'm back we're ready to take a bite let's see how this gonna turn out so this is what our barbecue turkey wing looks like so we're going to go ahead now and plate it out okay guys so this is the end of our barbecue turkey wing so let's dig in and see what it tastes like I prepare me some rice so we have our rice over here. And I'll show it to you. Let's get some of this right here. Get some rice right there. So let's see. It, this would have been nice with um, potato salad, but I had no potatoes. So I figure some rice will do. So let's see what it tastes like. Look at that, how easy it comes off. This is so good. I wish y'all could taste it. Get another bite. If I can, it is so soft and juicy. That's some rice. Mm. This is very good. So if you like this video, Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and leave a comment in the box below.